Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to the Resident Evil 3 demo over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo, thanks for joining me today. We are, we're checking this out now. I wanted to start a intro here just in case there was no menu or anything for me to futz around with, so I'm going to get into the game just as soon as I hit start game. If it gives me some options or something, I'll be back once I'm done fiddling around with that. Ready? Okay, here we go. All right, here we are. We're back. We're about to get in this. Super excited to play this. Uh, ever since the PlayStation 1 released uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, I was always thinking to myself how awesome it would be to somehow play that again in the future with awesome, super cool graphics. So without further uh, hold up. All right, I guess we'll just uh, just get right in here. I don't know. Uh, I purposely watched no videos about this or anything, and this just came out for Steam. So I'm just getting this right now. So let's hop in here. The final game may differ from this demo. You cannot save or load your game in this demo. Oh, fair enough. At least it's not timed like uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake's demo was. This new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, bedding itself in the corpse. Oh, okay, well, that's it for that. Oh, hey, Jill. I guess we're just right in here. <laughs> this fine young lady could use our help. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, the... My oh, old... Yes. Yeah. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? <laughs> she is an elite operative of RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. That is accurate. Her name Mikhail? is Mikhail? something Valentine. It's Jill. There it is. Nice That's the ticket. You, Jill. Mikhail, yep, I was right. I am UBCS Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Yeah, I believe that about as much as I believe it when I heard it on PlayStation. <laughs> How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Yeah. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh. Correction, undead. Ooh, <laughs> nice correction, friendo. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Yeah. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. <laughs> yes. Oh, we, irony. <laughs> we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving. Oh, it's a subway train in this one. With some survivors. Okay. Wait, there's actual oh, survivors can. back there. Holy crap. My men cannot do this alone. That's awesome. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I, I futzed around with the graphics as much as possible, right. but... I'm in. Yeah, I'd hope so, Jill. What else are you gonna do? Your side. Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Yeah, except you, uh, you to have less ridiculous hair, Carlos. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. Yeah, uh... I know what a radio is. <laughs> yeah, it is odd that... Okay, first things first. Oh, all right. We need to get you geared up. Yeah. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Okay. All right. Which way? Uh, well, I guess those are the people, so I guess we're just going this way. Do I have anything? What do I have? Survival knife. Comes in handy. And a G19. 9mm handgun, known for its compact size. Extremely durable resin used by armed forces. Oh, so it's a uh, Glock. Uh, not Glock. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I would Got handgun ammo. Yes. Yes, take it. UBCS ammo crafting guide. Run out of ammo. Your guns are useful about as a wet fart. Wow. All right. You want to stay alive out there and get these basic formulas. Gunpowder. Oh, that's cool. I mean, they did it for Resident Evil 2, but Resident Evil 3, I believe, the for the PlayStation was where they went to allowing you to make bullets via gunpowder. All right. Okay. Gunpowder good. No gunpowder bad. So, wow. All right. So we didn't, we don't have a whole lot there. I can't believe there's actually people in here. Because in the PlayStation game, it's just Mikhail, Carlos, and uh, the obviously evil guy. You know, there's there's obviously, kind of like how Wesker was the, uh, what? I'm not running? We can just go say run. Wesker was the obvious evil guy for RPD in the original. And um, the guy from Resident Evil 3 with the mercenaries was the obvious evil guy for them. We got anything? No? Okay. Well, I like that it, it feels smooth. It feels just uh, just as good as it did playing Resident Evil 2, and that's always awesome. Tablet front page. 
the Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault a man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of Lamb's Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Oh, I just heard a sploosh off in my right ear. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting it had been eaten. Third known incident kindly... Oh, uh, yeah. Being eaten is bad. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comet have been a gnawing feeling this so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial is providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Oh, that was another thing I just remembered right now while reading that about Resident Evil 3 is that you, uh, you actually get to see, like, news articles and stuff about the, the apocalypse going down. Like, as in somebody had enough time to... Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? No, I'm, I'm taking my time. So what's the plan? Tanks got me clearing the tracks. You okay. Might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Yeah, I was gonna say what? <laughs> I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Yeah. Ooh, those herbs? Oh yes. Give me the herbs. Oh, that's cool. He just picked it up. Didn't even have to. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. I see. When uh, it shows you what it is the first time you pick it up, and then it just auto picks it up from then on. Oh, whoa! Oh, space is now, space is now dodge. That's cool. I didn't. I can dodge. Yeah. All right, but I need to. Mm. Oh, yeah. Duh. I need the knife. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just getting Leon flashbacks to Resident Evil Four. Where, like, you just, you had to double slash the boxes once you get to the castle. Because half of the, half of the boxes start having snakes in them. I remember that. Good times. Good times. Alright, um, yeah, that's it. We've got bullets. Not a lot, but we've got bullets. Alright, what, what do we got here? The UBCS Herb Field Manual. Yet, yeah. whoever is playing the Res Resident Evil games and does not know how the herb system works... You you need help. You need help because it's it, they've they've literally never changed it the entirety. I don't know what that was, but we got it. Uh, they've never changed the herb system since like the original first one. I think the only thing they actually did to the the system over the time was they removed the planter boxes, where it was like green herbs that you could use right then and there, but you couldn't actually take with you. I was gonna say what what would I have in the save box? Nothing. All right. Yeah, that was the only uh, that was the only change I saw them make over the years was uh, the stand here and heal, but you can't take it with you. Herb boxes. All right. Whoa. All right. I forgot what game I was playing, and uh, all of a sudden just got extremely scared. <laughs> We're survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Okay. I don't. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it's up now. Okay. Another one over there. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna waste one bullet on you. I don't think there's a point to those. I think that's like something for the main game that's just wasn't taken out for the demo. Oh, okay, you're still alive. I can't go in there. That's good. Okay, good. I'm I'm excuse me. Okay, alright, we yeah, uh, can I go over this at all? No? Okay, time to go. Oh, that's bullets. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that at all. Whoa. Feel good on that front. Yeah. Woo. Shooting zombies in the brain. No, 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 no. That. Okay. Things are getting serious. Quick step. Space, we're getting dodge. Nope, I can't get in there. Okay, very good. Oh man, this is so this is so surreal. It's hard to even describe it properly. Can I get in here? Yeah, no? 
Nope, that is that is not how that works. Okay, very good. I need stuff. I mean, it's Resident Evil, you always need stuff. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk away quietly from that. Right after I... Ha -ha! Gunpowder's cool. I like the gunpowder. Oh man, I don't like the inactive zombies all over the place. That means they're setting me up for some bad news bears. See a big transmission tower? Yeah. That's the substation. Okay. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. Oh. Yeah, the alley that's on fire. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that, thank you, Jill. You spoke for me. You spoke for me, and I'm okay that you spoke for me, because that was what I was going to say anyway. With, with what? My harsh language? I use my knife. Yeah, knife don't work. Um, do, do I... You want me to... No, it's gotta be a crank, right? Oh, wait. Flashbacks of Resident Evil 3. Ah, crap, crap, crap. Yeah, I was gonna say flashbacks. Whoa! You see that guy in the end? He was climbing that some bit. Whoa, hey, alright, well... Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna circle around, circle around. Yeah. Suck on that. If I remember correctly, Risen Evil 3 was also the one where they introduced the exploding barrels, which was oh so good. It was a. Uh, it was extremely difficult to aim at them, considering you were still using tank controls then. But, it was very good. Nothing- oh, crap. The gun sounds and feels a lot more realistic, I can tell you that much. Alright, excuse me, I'm just gonna go ahead and scooby around here, and I see something going on. Oh, okay, I can't do anything with that. Oh, tell me this door's locked. Oh, it's not. Good, good. What is this? Bullets? Yes, please. Thank you. Alright. The dodging's a little on the awkward side. But that's whatever. It is what it is. Okay, why is there music playing in here? Really? I get it. It's the apocalypse. They wouldn't have shut the radio off before they left, but come on. Seriously? Ooh, another herb. Alright. Wait. I was gonna say, I'm... Yeah. Bang. Bang. Yeah, you know what? We'll double up. We'll double up. That's fine. Bolt cutters. That's also fine. Haven't. Yeah, nothing in there. Okay. Yeah. Anything. There's a. There's a lock here. There's clearly a lock there. You're not gonna let me deal with it. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it in here. It's loud. There's zombies. Uh, whoa, where the heck am I? Hold on, hold on. There was, a, uh, There was something for the bolt cutters. Back through here. Yeah. Let's go check that out. Yeah, because we're not on a time limit anymore, so there's no real sense in a... Whoa, okay. Uh, note to self, the zombies lunge at, like, half stand. They don't even have to wait for full standing up. Yeah, alright. I, I get you. Yes. Snap them chains. Break the chains that bind us. What we got in here? Sounds like zombies. It sounds like zombies in here. There you go. You're not a zombie, but I will stab you like one. Ooh. High grade. Alright. Not sure what good that's gonna do for me. Anybody? Any regular bullets? Regular bullets? Okay, that's... that's not ideal. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, and I can't do anything with that now. Great, great. Alright. I wonder if they adopted anything from the... the newer run of Resident Evils before they went um, over the shoulder. Where you can actually just use items on the ground, b b like, without picking them up if you didn't have the space. I guess that's it in here, right? Yeah, because I don't... Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else in here, and I can't go downstairs. Man, you... Alright, alright, I get it. So I guess you are gonna make me use the safe boxes. Wow, okay. 
That's your call, Hondo. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep, now come this way. No. No. Alright, well, I'll just... Go, Claire, go! Dance around them zombies. Woo! Oh, what, there's a way up there? What the heck? There is paths everywhere. I don't think they wanted me to use that, uh... I think they wanted me to go through here. I don't think they actually wanted me to go up the stairs. Whoa, hey, I did not see you standing there. Stranger danger. Oh, yeah, you're right behind me. Okay, time to go. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? The Kite Brothers Railway? Oh, yeah, this would be where I'm going, isn't it? I still don't have stuff. Oh, I don't like this hallway. Ah, I don't like this hallway. What is this? Fire hose, really? Yeah, I can't take that. I don't... I do not have the space for the... I don't have space for any of this stuff. <laughs> ah, yep, they did take that. Cool. Cool, they did draw inspiration from the... Yeah, I definitely don't need that. Well, I mean, I do, but, uh... I definitely don't have any space for that. Well, wow, that's that's kind of lame. I feel like I screwed myself over by being uh, fastidious and picking up all the stuff I could pick up. Ooh. Hello, shotgun, my old friend. I can't pick it up, though, because I suck. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Yeah, I'm, they're gone. They're gone. Oh, wow, and you are... You are here now. Yeah. Good night, Sally! Oh, oh, yes! That felt so good. Violence getting worse and worse for the past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. Should keep it safe away from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. Things go south, cut the chain, and bust out that sucker. I pray we'd all make it out alive. Me too. Although, to be fair, it doesn't look like we have. Okay, well, I... Yeah, I still don't have a hand grenade, so that's not good. Oh, man. I feel like they were being more, um... More true to... Or the original Resident Evil 3, where it was more about... You having to traverse... The subway company's offices. Oh. Traverse the whole city to... It was to basically solve the, the puzzles that you had. Like, the entire city was open to you. Like, you know, it was hallways and stuff, but... All right, um, blah, 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 power outage stations, the whistle train stop, track, something that's to be used, route is unsafe, error. Okay, so you have to actually do it properly, it won't work. Oh, that's right, uh, crap. So, what we need to do here, it's funny, I've already, like, kind of miffed myself, because what we really need out of this place is the fire hose, so we can put that fire out. But we can't get that, because we don't have any space for it. <laughs> wonder can I I can't discard the knife hmm well crap I guess where's the nearest safe box nope nope that ain't it hmm outside yeah we need this hose we need this hose you know what yep we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to, no, because there's no saving or anything. If I if I die, you know, I could just do another. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna toss the blue and red or the green and red. Yep, because I, I need this hose. This this hose is super important. All right. Well, yeah. Woo! Good night. Yeah, I bet that tickled. Oh yeah. Yeah, because in, in the Resident Evil 2 remake, you basically, once you go down a path, it's like, it wasn't actually a street, it was just a little section for you to walk through. No pharmacy. Whoa, hey, oh, hey. What's in here? Oh, wow. Brutal. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The flesh eater it just broke through our barricades. That's funny. I was wondering if like a radio station host would end up doing that, like sticking around.
Wow, you just eaten my bullets. Okay, very good. No, nothing else in here. All right, yeah. No, oh, 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 wait, is that a red herb? Yeah, we, we don't need that. We just threw away, like, a red and green mix, so. Yeah, it's up now. That'll teach you to stand next to exploding barrels. <laughs> you got more gunpowder? I can't do anything with that. I can't. So it seems like item management in the full release is going to be super important. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. <laughs> Surprise! Happy birthday! Oh, wow. We're actually going into the, like, random buildings and stuff. This is cool. This is so cool. Oh. Hello? Are you... Are you okay? You gonna break that down, or...? Yeah? Okay, well, that's nothing, apparently. Yep, nothing in here. All right. What was that? Jill? What? It's like, I'm gonna fall flat against the door. Like, all right. Now, is the other one still alive, though? No, good. Okay. All right, back to the fire. There we go. Man, that just... That's, I gotta be honest, yeah, that's real satisfying to shoot. Real satisfying. No, hold on. Wait, what the heck is, what is all this? This this is so expansive. Oh man, good, good stuff. Again, another gunpowder I can't pick up. Very good, very good. So what you're saying is I should stop futzing around and just go put that fire out. Okay, all right. All right, let's do it. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh no! 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 What the? Ah! Uh, Claire. Claire, you're not Claire. You're Jill. I'm sorry about that, Jill. Oh man. Oh, you're Mr. X, but a hundred times worse. Where did that guy go with the, the stuff on his head? Whoa! I didn't do that in the PlayStation version. Oh, oh hey! Whoa! I just pooed a little! Oh! <laughs> I forgot he totally did do that in the PlayStation version. No! No! No, 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 Ah, uh -huh, crap, that was them breaking down the barricade. Hold on, let me use this fire hose real quick. You know, single person. Nope, not braced at all. Jeez. Okay, cool. chill. <laughs> I just pooed a little again. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wait. Oh. Wow. Wow, that was awesome. That was really awesome. Four out of 20 dolls destroyed. Well, you know, that is what it is. All right, is that, yeah, that's it, okay. Okay, all right. So that is it for the Resident Evil 3 demo. Wow, just just blown away by that. That's gonna be awesome. It seems like they've really captured the uh, kind of expansive nature of exploring the different areas in the city because it's all kind of linked and open whereas like Resident Evil 2 is you go up a block take a left go up around an alley and then bam you're where you need to be this looks awesome and got some really good uh heart at free heart attacks from Nemesis in just the small amount of time we were playing so um I'm not I'm not exactly sure uh, how long this video is going to be but it is what it is so that being said I guess just thanks everybody so much for joining me today if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed, and uh, I can't wait to eventually play the full release when this comes out, because it's going to be amazing. So, thank everybody so much for watching, and as usual, I catch you all on the flip side.